Hello and a happy Thursday to you. I've got a bit of an odds and endsy sort of day lined up today. The first thing I have to do is send these back. Oh, what a shame they were too small. I really like them though, so I have already ordered another pair. I've printed off the return slip and the address label for the package. So number one on my list today is to package these up and send them off. I have already ordered the next size up. Now I ordered a size five, but when I looked again, it said size five men's UK. And apparently in women's, it's a size four. Now I had no idea that men's sizes and ladies sizes were different. I just thought a five was a five. Apparently not. So I've ordered the next size up, which is a six and a half. So fingers crossed they fit me. But anyway, these look the business. I showed them properly in my last vlog. So here we go again, back in the packaging again. I've read the instructions and it's very simple. I just have to cut out this part here, which is the label that goes on the package and stick that on. And this part goes inside the package. Let's do that. I should be getting a dab hand with this. See if it'll work today. I'm scared I'm going to rip it. I don't want to damage the crop. So I need to just study where the blade is. I can get the angle better. There we are. I'm so slow. I think it's just knowing the angle to do the twist with the wrist, isn't it? I'm so cautious about tearing a hole in the package with the cutter. I think this is something to do with it. You're supposed to press down with it, aren't you? And it um, automatically puts it at the right angle then. Yes. Perfect. I'm just going to take these up a bit better and then I'll be ready. Good, then we're ready to go off and drop it off at the drop-off place. I've just popped out, got my bag. I'm off to the place where you have to drop it off and I hopefully will be able to show you this time because it was absolutely pouring down with rain yesterday and uh, obviously couldn't use my camera. But hopefully today I'll be able to show you. This can double as my walk for the day as well, can't it? I'm really trying to walk every day at the moment and I'm aiming for 10,000 steps a day. I didn't quite manage it yesterday, but I did three days running before that. I was up to 9,000 something yesterday, so I was close. I put on a bit of weight. I got my scales working. It's eating batteries, but I think it's because I've got rubbish batteries, so I need to try and find out what the battery is and get a decent one. Because if I weigh myself every day, it incentivizes me to just be more mindful about what I'm eating and how much exercise I'm getting or how little. The daffs are out! Happy nearly springtime! Here it is. Looks like you can actually collect parcels from here as well. I didn't know that. Send or return a parcel. Scan your barcode. Oh no, I accidentally scrunched it. Right, I'm going to put the camera down on it and I'm going to just type that in manually. Right, I've typed that in, so confirm. Oh, you have to press it quite hard. Oh, it's doing it now. It's just to add a bit of a lag. Oh. And look, this happened. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that's going to fit. Let's see. I think it might be a little bit big. Nope, it's fine. In it goes. And then I know from yesterday, just shut the door. Okay, parcel stored. And then you have to take that and scan that with your camera, which is easy to do. You don't even need a QR code reader. I thought you would, but apparently these days the camera just does it, which is great. Here we go. Can't see what I'm doing at all. Hopefully this is in shot. There we are, open in post UK link. So I'm just gonna hide that. It's come up with the receipt number and I have to just put my email in and then it will send me a receipt by email. So I'm gonna put the camera off and do that. I've decided to take a little stroll through the park on my way back. It's slightly longer, but I thought, well, I wanted to get out for a walk today, so I'll combine it with this. I'm very appreciative of the fact that it's not colder right now. This milder weather has cheered me up, I have to say. I 
I'm back from the park now. I've been back a while actually. I was really, really hungry and I had one of those low blood sugar moments. So I just ate and I decided I wanted lots of protein. So I had fish that I microwaved and it worked out perfectly fine. It was perfectly nice actually. That was quicker than the oven. I might do that again. I also had two fried eggs because I don't know why, but I just really fancied having a lot of protein. And then because Isabel's cheesecake is massive and it's gonna go off, I had cheesecake. <laughs> So it's a bit of a random lunch. Oh dear. The washing up has been mounding up, as you can see. So next thing on today's list is I'm gonna wash up. I've done it. Look at my lovely clean kitchen. Oh, there's lovely. I even did the stove. I do need to put that lot away. Shall I do that now? Yeah, that won't take me long, it's only a tiny bit. What I'm gonna do is put a pot of coffee on while I'm just quickly putting those away. My brain is still slightly foggy, but it's a lot less foggy. But what I'm gonna do now is my hour of playing my flute and I'm just gonna go and play along with recordings again so I won't film myself doing it. I'm really finding that it's just, it's bringing my mojo back because it's quite hard in isolation when you're not playing with other people. It's, I don't know, it can be easy to just play all the notes like, really flat, not flat pitch, but just without any energy and without any oomph or kind of conviction, you know, but playing along with recordings, it, it brings it back out of you. It's, it's some kind of catalyst, I don't know. I react against it differently than if I was not playing along with the recording. So I'm enjoying doing that. So I'm gonna do that now before it gets too late. And then after that, I'm gonna sit down at my desk upstairs and go through all the application stuff to do with that college application with a fine tooth comb and make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna, make a sort of time frame for when every step needs to be taken and when I need the references back by and all that stuff. Making coffee. <laughs> I quite like playing my flute down in the cellar. It's, it's proper escapism it is. Just block everything else out and it's just my alone time then. And when I haven't got any project that I need to work on urgently, I can take my time over it and be more mindful about the instrument and that. And I'm enjoying listening to all the different types of music. Well, not different types, different nationalities. I'm still doing traditional music, but doing some various Celtic musics. It's a nice change. I'm gonna quickly race the coffee pot now and just put those few cloves away and then hopefully by the time I come back down it'll be just about erupting up through the hole. It's the evening now. I spent ages going through that application form after I finished my flute and then I cooked up some dinner, didn't I, Izzy? We've just finished eating. I need to go and edit this vlog because I haven't even started it yet. But if you've enjoyed watching it, please give me a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.